Welcome to the Solax Instructional Installation Video Series, we will guide you through the installation and commissioning of Solax Triple Power LD53 battery. Before installation, we kindly request that you take a moment to scan the QR code to read the LD53 battery installation guide and familiarize yourself with all the warnings and caution notes. First, let's get started with the introduction for LD53 battery. The battery system consists of one or more rechargeable batteries. Please prepare the following tools before installing the LD53 battery. Let's briefly go over what comes in the package of the Solax LD53 battery. The following items are only for one battery module. If you plan to install two adjacent battery modules, an additional purchase is required. There are two installation options, floor mounting and wall mounting. This video will take floor mounting, for batteries as an example. Note that both the two options can be withstand up to 16 battery modules. To ensure a proper installation, please follow the guidelines. For multiple devices installation, make sure to leave a minimum space of 40 to 60 centimeters between each system. Now, let's have a look at the physical appearance and dimensions of the LD53 battery. Now let's get started with the mounting of the LD53 battery. Use maker to mark the position of the holes. Note that when installing, at least two people are required to lift the battery module. Hang the battery on the wall and tighten the screws with the cross screwdriver. Then install the other batteries. Note that 400 and 600 millimeters of distance shall be provided between two batteries. Next, we will proceed with the wiring section. Please prepare these tools before wiring. For PE connection, strip the PE cable by wire stripper. Use a crimping tool to squish the terminal. Then use a heat gun to blow the tube. For communication connection, make sure that the BMS port on the battery module connects to the inverter is pin to pin, and the cable shall have a shield layer. Before connecting to the inverter, ring terminals are required to be made and fitted over both the negative and positive power cables respectively. Note that do not damage the conductor while silding the jacket off the power cable end. In the event that two or more battery modules are purchased, for mail connectors are required to be made. Likewise, properly make the power cables. Firstly, connect the battery module to the inverter, BAT negative port to BAT negative port, BAT positive port to BAT positive port, BMS port to BMS port, and connect the PE cable.
Then connect the cables among batteries. Note that the port sequence is, bat positive to bat positive, bat negative to bat negative, COM1 to COM2, and connect the PE cable. Remember to close the waterproof cover after each installation. Regarding the first start, after pressing and holding the power button on the battery module that connects to the inverter for 15 seconds, the battery system will assign each battery module in a communication loop a unique address. In the meantime, the status light will remain on solid yellow light for the first 11 seconds and then turn to solid green light, and the SOC power indicators will remain on solid blue light based on the battery module's actual battery capacity. 15 seconds later, release the button. At this point, the status light will flash green light and the SOC power indicators will remain on solid blue light after the unique address is assigned. Thank you for watching.